Kichua. Hope everyone's good. It's not the nicest day in the world. We've got heavy showers going on. It's not too bad in the woods themselves though. First thought of coming for a short walk. Got a new backpack to try out. It's a German M31 Mountain Troops rucksack. Repro. I got it from Military Mart for £39. So I figured I'd just give it a little go. Despite it being a pretty rainy day, everything soaked. I think you can hear the rain. Not a bad day though. You only live once, so get out as much as you can. If you only come out on the nice sunny days, then that's over half your life wasted. Sitting on your backside at home. So here's the bag, it's made from a pretty heavy duty feeling canvas in all leather straps. It's pretty similar to the Czechoslovakian M60, it's got two pretty large pockets on the front and besides that it's one big bucket style with a pretty big pocket on the inside as well which I'll show in a second so the straps themselves the shoulder straps are pretty nice leather pretty thick and they're all detachable and that's all you get with it just one single leather strap. I think the originals were double leather, so you would have another strap coming down here which you would attach to the bag, and then another strap which you would attach to your belt. That's what it comes with. And it's all pretty nice, thick metal, which is painted sort of a grey colour. And it's all nicely welded, there's no seams to it. So they did a pretty good job on that. And it's the same with all the metal work. Though there is a gap right there, I can see. But it hasn't been painted under that ring. You got a D ring on the other side for the bottom of the pack. The stitching. Seems okay. It's just single stitched and the thread it seems pretty heavy duty thread. It is a little thin but it's something I can easily replace if it goes. So as far as markings on the bar go, it is marked with the original markings. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up though. Mine's marked 1940, though this is an original, it's not an actual 1941. You can't really see that. right here with one single rivet on each side so it's not actually stitched on the bits for the shoulder straps you get two D-rings on the top flap right here and two D-rings 
on the bottom under each pocket to the side and the bag's also compatible with the A-frame and I think the more modern East German combat pack straps will fit on this as well probably is the Czechoslovakian straps in those sorts of shoulder straps as far as waterproofness goes the lid is getting pretty drenched as is the leather I should have waterproofed it before I came out but whatever so it's pretty dry underneath there's no water coming through on the other side that's just from me touching it with wet hands but the inside's pretty dry it is soaking through actually on the leather like I say I should have waterproofed that before I came out but I didn't you do get one Let's see if I can move this actually heavy duty well, I don't know if it's heavy duty, but it's very thick cordage which just like the original tube twine is very stiff and hard to draw this closed so I might replace this with paracord just because this is a bit of a pain put in here like I say it's just a big huge bucket style and it will fit the German Bundeswehr fold and sleeping mat but this mat is a little too tall so you can't button it and the button on the inside is the metal type which is pretty nice So all in all, there's not a lot I can really say about it, like I said I've only just getting it. Well, I got it last week but it's been in quarantine for a week, this is the first time I've had it out. But uh, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I said it is just a reproduction but it's pretty good. I'll get it back to the house. and see what other shoulder straps will fit on it the camera doesn't want to shut off and we're back I forgot to mention it has two leather attachment points on each side so on the inside of the bag we've got one damp patch right here where some water's getting in and one spot there on this side it's pretty dry there's one bit there you can see there's some leather reinforcements on the these rings that should hold it pretty well if you want to put a sleeping bag or whatever on the bottom or a wool blanket same on the top reinforced with leather and that pocket is bone dry that's to be expected First time I've had this bag out, first time I've looked at it properly. So, so far, it's pretty good. I don't know if it's been treated with anything, any waterproofing or anything from the factory. But obviously I'll put some on. I'll just stick some beeswax on the leather in the canvas. So the lid's on the outside pockets are also pretty dry a little bit of dampness come through here 
A little spot right here on the corner. They didn't get pretty wet though. I would expect them to soak through if they got caught in a heavier rain shower, but like I say, I'll treat it with my own waterproofing. Closer look at the cord. It is coming apart in some places. I noticed after I got it back, this one here is pretty bad. It's just bulging out all over. But like I say, I'm going to replace this with paracord because it is a bit of a bastard to draw. So the straps off of the East German combat pack will fit on pretty nicely. And it doesn't look too out of place. So that's a Swedish LK35 strap, which will fit on pretty nicely. And the US Alice Pack strap will also fit on very well. And I know the reenactors will be losing their shit and throwing things against the screens and throwing their phones on the walls. But I'm not a reenactor. I bought this bag for actual use in the outdoors. And I want it to be as versatile as possible. So I've got no intention of using it for reenacting or anything. Complain away. And just for shits and giggles, the Swiss M39 surprisingly will fit it without any conversion very easily. So automatically, this is now my favourite rucksack. Just because it fits in that frame. Nice. So that's it for this video. I just want to do a real quick video on my new M31 reproduction rucksack. Thanks for watching. Chat.